All right, what is up, everyone? We are back with another edition of, actually, new series, cool idea. I'm going to look at a bunch of different lists that I see on the wonderful website of Twitter. I guess, actually, it's X, but whatever. We're going to find the best, or at least what these authors say is the best, Marvel Snap deck of round. We're going to try them out in one game, win or lose. If you win, your deck's cracked. If you lose, sucks. Sorry, don't know what to tell you. There is going to be zero player error. It's going to be the best thing you've ever seen. I am the best pilot in all of Marvel Snap. <laughs> of course. So there's no way that these single games are going to not be definitive proof of whether a deck is good or not. So let's get started. The first one we have is from a wonderful Twitter user of Mad Lad. No, sorry. Marvel Mad one. You know... When you have your Twitter name as Mar Marvel Mad, makes me think Mad Lad, but whatever. And they're saying that this deck is nuts. Looks like a regular Galactus list. Is it nuts? Is it cracked? A little bit of differences to throw in here. The Yellow Jacket's interesting. Adam Warlock for help for draw. Daredevil is a backup plan with your Professor X. Maybe it is. Let's find out. All right, Mr. Madman. You say this deck is nuts. Let's see if we can hold you to that. And we got a supposedly decent start here, as my game is stuttering a little bit, but hopefully that doesn't do too much. So, if they're not attacking Miniaturized Lab... Okay, Null gone. Could we add a Morlock on Miniaturized Lab? Is that a good idea? Or is it better to Daredevil? Um, let's go for this. Oh, if that's three, then we just, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. There is going to be zero player error. There is going to be zero player error. That's fine. Um, do that. Yondu. Um, so they have likely a lot of small stuff. So this Galactus should actually go off, right? I mean, so far it's just a basic Galactus deck, right? And they have a Mr. Negative, and that means we have a Galactus that gets to go off here. <laughs> oh, this variant's fucking sick. Oh no. I fixed the audio, don't worry. And then we just get to go. Oh wait, isn't this just kind of insane? Oh, that's sick. And it helps us out with the negative. Good stuff. All right. I think we reached a verdict. Look at that. All right, Marvel Mad One. Is this deck nuts? Yeah. Were we really that surprised? Come on. Galactus is still Galactus. He's a big bad. So of course he's going to be cracked. Next is one from my wonderful co-host over on Snap on Ego. It's from Chris Bootman Bootay, and he made this wonderful post and end, even a video link down in the description below. Go check him out. Go give him some love. It's going to be this anti-destroyer destroyer deck. So the idea with the Nimrod challenge and everything like that for the weekend mission, there's a lot of destroy going around, especially with the new release of Dakin. So, of course, Chris was saying, let's pop this bad boy out and see if it's going to be good enough to stop destroy or destroyer decks in their tracks. Let's find out. All right, so this one is from my wonderful co-host on the Snap on Ego podcast. It's Chris Bootman Boote. And we have an interesting one here. It's bringing Destroyer back around with some Atuma action, Storm, Armor, and a Sinister London right off rip. So if we're going against, because this is this, because this is still the Nimrod season, or not season, I should apologize, uh, the Nimrod season weekend mission thingy, uh, this could be beneficial, but it doesn't look like it. I think an armor might actually help them. What about a 
a little daredevil action there. Um, so we could theoretically, hmm, what's better? I mean, obviously we want to go for the Atuma into Professor X line, right? Oh, it's, it's Thanos. Thanos ongoing. Okay. All right. Nice. That guarantees my Atuma hit actually. So we're going to snap. Guarantees my Atuma Professor X hit here. Wait. That means I have to go armor right now. Actually. Yeah, that's fine because uh, the armor and Atuma and all that stuff get really big together. Uh, that claw is just going to become a thing. That's fine. So now we can go with Tuma, Tuma, and then Professor X, Professor X. They are running out of space, so they're going to want to not play on Sinister One in here. They're going to have to focus on Klimtar. All right. Captain America, sick. Power Stone, sick. I have uh, the wonderful Atuma. For 15. All right, so. And then I could destroy your mid. Is this just working out great? Let's see what they do. Um, Cause I mean, this might not win, but we're probably gonna win this lane. And then have a chance to win this lane. I mean, so they play Mr. Fantastic and Soul Stone. I mean, we're going to go for it anyway. I've already committed to this. Committed to the bit. Which, actually, I think we still win that lane. My math is correct. And we do win that lane. We just have to avoid a Marvel here. But if they play Marvel, that puts them at to 14. Oh, wait, no, hold on. No, they get big off of the Ant-Man. Oh, well, that's the best play I got. We lose to exactly Boom Marvel. Spectrum. We also lose to Spectrum. All right, that's fine. Well, well, Chris, as we just got emoted against with your deck, looks like it sucks. Sorry, buddy. Well, sorry, Chris. I don't know what to tell you. Looks like your deck sucks. Remember... Perfect play every time. Nothing's going to change that. Sorry, buddy. Next and finally, we have the esteemed, amazing, brilliant mind in Marvel Snap of Lambie. And he was very confident in this list a few days ago, maybe sometime last week. It's this weird tempo move deck with the new Spider-Man. He says it might be the best deck he's ever made and believes in it truly. And it's one that you've probably seen quite a bit on ladder. So let's take it for a spin and see if Lambie is still living up to his own name as the greatest Marvel Snap player to ever live. Of course, if we're going to do this kind of video, we have to feature the wonderful, brilliant mind that is Lambie. And this is his deck that's been going around quite a bit. I've seen it a lot on ladder. So we're going to try it out and see if it is good or not. Clintar, New York. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I'm not feeling this. But I think we got to go into this one blind and then go like Jeff something. Actually, Spider-Man's actually solid here too. All right. Let's do this. I doubt they... I don't know. They might feel pressure to play here. But this triggers Angela and then pulls whatever away. So that's cool. And then we get Miles going. All right. Storm. Maybe Spider-Man just slaps into the Storm lane, um, which we can actually just go Craven Miles here. Oh, too far. That's fine. Uh, so if we just do something like, uh, this, but I kind of want to, this doesn't feel right. I 
honestly, let's just do this. I mean, if they go for the Legion thing, then it's fine. All right, it's cool. So they can have mid. We're going to get the Surfer list. Hulkbuster. Makes that big. Hulkbuster on Jeff would be insane. Okay, Miles is perfectly fine. Spider-Man. Who are we pulling? My other Spider-Man. That's fine. I can move everything still. It's actually making this better for me, right? So, move. Move. Just move it all. And then Chavez, right? <clears throat> Might be overkill. Maybe could have left the Spider-Man back. But I mean, if they move stuff too, that Craven's gonna get massive. I mean, Craven's pretty big. And that seems like a lot. Kingpin. Oh, does that go off in time? No. Okay, you just put me mid. All right, look at that. <laughs> nice job, Surfer. If they had priority, then that Kingpin play would've been sick. But they didn't. So, Lambi, is this deck good? It's cracked. Look at that. Well, there you have it. Look, we already know Lambi's cracked. He's amazing. And that is going to be another crack list for our decks today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Trying to do something a little bit more different, a bit more fun. Incorporating some gameplay here and there, but not going super heavy-handed on it. And doing a little bit of a spin on it. Of course, as always, you can check me out on Twitter at Bradsiver and the other two podcasts I am part of being. Snap on Ego with Chris Bootman Butte over at his channel, as well as Can't Stop Snapping with Teddy Ninja, split between my channel and his. And of course, you can find both of those on every podcasting platform, such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.